OK, this is uh, question five, uh, the final question in the homework booklet. Uh, so we've got a, a diagram here of a animal cell. OK, and uh, the question starts off by this table where you have to name the structures and then give the function. So K, uh, this is going to be the nucleus. OK, so if you look at this sort of arc-like structure, that would show the, the membrane envelope of the nucleus. You can see it's a double membrane and the outer membrane forms the rough endoplasmic reticulum. OK, so K uh, is going to be the nucleus. Now, in terms of its function, we discussed this, I think, in question one. You've got to say that it has a DNA which codes for proteins. OK, again, you can't say general things like it controls cellular activity. Uh, it's too general. You need to say the DNA codes for proteins or for protein synthesis. Now, L, uh, the arrows are pointing directly to the ribosomes, so you'd have no mark if you said endoplasmic reticulum or rough endoplasmic reticulum. It had to be ribosomes. And the function is just to uh, synthesize uh, proteins. OK, and M then, uh, here, that is the Golgi body. OK, you can see it's got uh, flattened sacs known as uh, cisterni, and they don't, uh, they're not interconnected, they're separate uh, cavities. So that's the Golgi body. Always put Golgi body, don't just say Golgi. You'd not get a mark for that. Uh, you could call it the Golgi um, apparat apparatus. OK, that would also be acceptable. Now, the function for this, several functions really, um, you could say that it packages proteins uh, for secretion. OK, which is the, the release of the uh, protein from the cell. Uh, it will chemically modify uh, proteins. And generally, that will mean uh, adding sugar molecules to the protein. OK, um, you could have said alternative answers to the function of the Golgi body would be to say it makes lysosomes uh, or it can produce glycoproteins, which is another mark for this chemical modification one I've got there. Right, uh, part B, why are the mitochondria... Uh, in the diagram. Why do they appear different? Uh, well, they're cut in different planes. That's what they want. Remember that uh, the one that looks circular, uh, that is uh, vertical within the cell. The one that looks like a sausage there is the one that is lying horizontal within the cell. OK. Right, next part. Using your knowledge, state which two structures found in prokaryotic cells are also find, found sorry, in mitochondria. Uh, well, that's going to be a DNA and ribosomes. 
remember that uh, mitochondria are thought to have evolved from prokaryotes. It's the endosymbiont theory again. Right, describe two differences between mitochondria and prokaryotic cells such as bacteria. Right, um, with bacteria then, um, they have a cell wall. Um, mitochondria do not. So that would be one marking point where, again, you've described one feature between the mitochondria and the bacteria. Um, the other one is um, no, the bacteria. They will have a slime capsule. but the mitochondria do not. Okay, so that would be the second mark. Now, uh, the other things that you could have put in is that uh, bacteria have flagella, but mitochondria do not. Um, bacteria have mesosomes, but, back, um, but mitochondria do not. And uh, the other one is... Um, the bacteria can can have plastids which are like photosynthetic structures within them uh, mitochondria do not have any of those they do not have the ability to photosynthesize okay that is the feedback for the last question there